find a record that exists in one table and does not exist in the other table. So we do kind of a lookup from one table into another table. We identify if the record exists or not. And if it does not exist, we show it in the result set. We'll share this web link in the description box below. So if you want to go and check out this web page, the SQL query, the dummy data after this video, you can easily go and check it. Let's switch to the problem statement. You are running an online business in which customers can register on your website. As soon as they register, an entry is made into the customer table. Whenever the customer places an order, an entry is made into the orders table. So we have two tables here. One is customer and one is orders. And you are say you are maintaining a database for a business where people can register on their website. And as soon as they register, an entry is made into the customer table. And when they place an order on the website, an entry is made into the orders table as well. Now, the business teams wishes to propose a discount coupon for the first time buyers. For this, they want the list of customer ID, those have registered on the website, but have not placed any order till date. As a business, you want to attract such customers who have registered on your website by giving some discount coupons or something so that they come on your website and place their first order. Below is the customer and orders table with sample records. So here is a customer table with ID, name and email. Here's the orders table with ID, customer ID, total price and order date. So customer ID here is a kind of a foreign key which is coming from customer table into the orders table total price and the order date and then there is there are some sample records so what I will do here is I'll just copy this code I'll come to SQL Fiddle those who doesn't know about SQL Fiddle it is just an online platform where you can create your dummy tables and dummy records and you can play around with it so it's a free you don't have to register anything you can just come here and uh, run your queries so what I've done is I've copied the dummy table and the sample records from the website and pasted it here. I've created my table. Now I'll just run some queries to see whether the tables are properly created and how the data looks like. So I'll just run the SQL now. So if you see here, I have one, two, three, eleven 11 customers I have in the table, in the customer table. And then in the orders table, I see there are 16 orders already placed, right, with the customer ID. So now my requirement is that I want to find all the customers who have registered on the website. So customers which are customer ID which are present in this customer tables, but does not have a corresponding customer ID present in the orders table, right? So if the business scenario is clear to you, it looks like a very common case where we have to do a lookup from one table into another. So the very first approach I will do is if you are aware about my SQL pattern system course where I categorize the SQL into different categories and patterns. I generally solve SQL queries thinking about the categories and patterns because it helps me gain confidence while solving SQL query, right? So what I am thinking right now is obviously there is a known category and pattern left with null condition which is generally used to identify such records I have explained it in detail in my online course if you want you can check out the course or if you want there's a free training also for that I'll share the link in the description box below do check out that now coming to the solution right so as I said the obvious solution for me is uh, joins and use a left join with a null condition to get such records right so it will be select customer ID from customers alias C and then I'll do a left outer join with orders table I'll give alias as O on C dot I'll just check the name C dot ID equal to O dot customer ID where O dot customer ID is null query looks like the category is joins because I'm doing a join and the pattern I see here is left with null. This category and pattern is primarily used to identify records that exist in one table and does not exist. So I'll just run this SQL query. So I get here 5, 9 and 11. So customer ID 5 which is Olivia, 9 Sara and they. 
So these three customers have done a sign up on my website, but have not placed any orders, right? So if I see here, one, two, three, four, five is missing, seven, eight, nine is missing, and then 11 is missing. So it means that five, nine, and 11 have not placed any order so far. So now I can share the, these three IDs with my business team so that they can plan a discount voucher for them and then send them an email that, okay, this is the discount open for you, try it for your first order. Now, this is just a one way and probably one of the most common way of solving the problem. But the same problem I can also solve using another category, which I have tagged to the miscellaneous one as per my SQL pattern course. And the pattern will be the set operator. So I can use set operators here and to solve the same. So what I will do is I'll get all the customers first, right? And I'll just give the alias as C. And then here, what I will do is I will use a set operator, which is except. In some database, minus also works. So you can use except or minus here. And then what I will do is I'll get all the customer ID from orders table. And let me give alias. And that's it. So if I run this query, this is a second solution uh, for the same problem statement. What I'm doing here is I'm getting all the customers from one table, which is customers. And then I'm getting all the customers from orders table and then I'm just doing an accept or the minus from one data set into another. So I will get all the customers from the customers except those customers who have placed some orders. So this is my output 5, 9 and 11 are the required customers that have not placed any order yet. The same problem statement can be solved using the third type of solution as well which is we can use a where condition and a sub query and use a not in to solve it, right? So this solution is for category where and the pattern is sub query with not in, right? So those who are familiar with my SQL pattern system course will know that what are these categories, what are these patterns. If you are new to the category and pattern system of solving SQL queries, I'll highly recommend go and check my free training which explains at the high level, if it really excites you, if you are interested, you can go and join me in the course as well. So here in this case, what I have to do is I will again write the query select C dot ID from customers. This will give me all the customers where C dot ID not in and then I will write select O dot customer ID from orders, right? So I can run this query now and what will happen? This query will give me all the customers which are not present in orders table, right? So five, nine, and 11, okay. So that's another way this category and pattern can also be used to solve the same problem statement. And if you're using not in, then very easily you can also use another pattern, which is category will be where only and the pattern will be sub query where not exist. So if you are using not in, you can also use not exist to solve the same problem statement. So the query will also look similar. C dot ID from customers. I will give the alias as C where not exist select one from exist returns true or false so i will write select one from orders and it give alias as o where o dot customer id equal to c dot id i will run this query now and we'll see the output and the output is 5911, which is exactly the same thing. So you see, right, the same problem statement we have solved using four different categories and patterns. So there are four possible solutions to solve the same problem statement. At the generic level, the problem statement is find all the records that exist in one table and does not exist in another table. It's a very common SQL question, very common SQL scenario also. Day-to-day -day life, you're writing SQL queries in your project you will encounter this problem statement very frequently. And there are four common ways of solving it. One is obviously using joins and pattern is left with null. So you do a left join and apply a filter where column name is null. The second solution is you use a miscellaneous category and the pattern is set operators. 
where you do a except or minus depending on the database and you do table one minus table two and you get the output. And the third solution is of the category where and the pattern is subquery with not in. So you uh, column name not in, column name from another table. And if you are using not in, you can also use not exist. For it, right? So all the four are giving the same output. Now a very obvious question can come into your mind. I have four solutions, right? Which one should I remember? So I'll say that remember the join one right because it's more versatile and can cater to different requirements also say if you want more number of columns in the output you can handle that with left outer join but with except you may not be able to handle more number of columns say you want customer name also in the output right then probably you will not be able to run this query why because customer name does not exist in order tables and when you are using set operators the the column list in the first select statement should be the same as the second select statement as well. Customer name exists here but does not exist here. So you may not be able to use this solution. So I'll say remember the left join with null category and pattern. It's a more common one, more durable and can cater to different requirements. The other obvious question that can come into your mind is about the performance, right? So I have four solutions which are working for me. Which one is the most performant? I will say the performance of left outer join with null condition and the not exists ideally should be similar because if you see in a way it is also doing kind of a join thing only where you are doing a correlated subquery uh, depending on the database the optimizer may create a different plans but i feel that first and the fourth one should have the similar execution time or the similar plan uh, not in could be the quickest in this case because I have say 10 or 15 rows only right so in this case not in may result in the best solution like in, in terms of the query execution time and except is generally the most heavy one uh, in terms of performance uh, it, it takes a lot of resources especially if there are big tables involved right so but yeah if you are dealing with few hundreds or thousands of records you can pick any solution and it will not make much significant difference in the execution time. So this is all about this video. If you like the approach of solving the SQL queries using categories and patterns, I will again insist you go check out the free training for SQL pattern system. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me.